So when working on your project, if you notice when you go to the roof plan, the roof plan will show up blank. To fix this, there are a couple things you can do. The first thing is you can edit the view range. The best way to explain the view range is when you click on the view range, you see the top of the view, which is the extents of, of the top of it, and then the cut plane, which is physically where you're cutting through to view it, and then the bottom, which is um, the lowest level of the cut plane. And I'll, I'll draw a diagram in here in a second to explain that. And then the view depth, the view depth in the bottom have to, or will typically have to be the same. So that's just the one kind of caveat um, to keep mindful of. When talking about view depth, it's best to go to an elevation. I just went down to the project browser on the left hand side and selected the east elevation. Again, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click, single click on the roof elevation and then go to view range. So we're by doing this, we're actually looking at the view range of the roof plan, not the east elevation. And so, as I said before, here are the different um, elements of the view range. Let me draw a diagram here for you. I'm just going to use a screen sketch right here just to illustrate. So we have the top, which is seven foot six. So the top would be somewhere around there, and then the bottom is is the roof level. Let's see, is that a little bit too much there? So the bottom is the roof level, and then the cut plane is four feet above the roof level. So this is four feet right here. So that's four. So basically that's why you can't see the top of the walls right now is because your view isn't looking down far enough. And so the one way to change that is by extending the bottom plane down. But I'm going to offer an alternative way of doing that which is Revit has this element called underlay. And so when you go to the roof plane you can click and the underlay here and you can select first floor and the top level is uh, level two and then you want to look down and by doing that you can see all the walls and in uh, furthermore you can actually start selecting the roof to draw the roof around um, that building the other thing you can do to draw the roof I'm just going to delete this for now is if you go to the second floor plan where you see the the walls you can actually select up here in the in the top ribbon you can select roof by footprint and I'm just gonna select a bit of an overhang here which is two feet and just so you can clearly see it so if you go into the level two section I'm gonna grab the fill command here close these lines off um, you can draw the roof on the second floor and then change the base to being the roof and that way um, your roof comes up to meet this um, the first thing you'll note about this is say the roof was up a little bit higher just so we can illustrate this you see all the walls aren't connecting to the roof the best way to do this is if you just go in here and select all the walls um, go into here filter I should check uncheck all click walls and you can go to attach top to base and click the roof after you do that and it'll attach the walls to the roof let me know if you guys have any questions or if you have any requests for more videos and we'll see you in the next one